Hey, what's up guys? So the Modern Maker podcast put out a challenge on behalf of Rockler to build something cool from a single sheet of plywood. So stick around for this video and let me show you what I built. So for the challenge, instead of purchasing a single sheet of 4x8 plywood, I decided that it was a lot easier to buy four 2x4 sheets. I bought this thing from Rockler which helped smooth out glue really fast. My sheets are half inch so I laminated them into two sets of 2x4 sheets that were now an inch thick. And I used anything that I had that was heavy to clamp things up. While that cured, I ripped a two foot by four foot sheet of melamine into two strips of 12 inches and then also laminated those together, giving me something that I could use as a molding later on. Once the plywood was dry, I ripped each sheet into equal sections uh, just under six inches and this made the material more manageable on my small table saw. Now because of the uh, kerf of the blade, I can move my fence in a quarter of an inch at a time and run each piece through the table saw and that would give me a strip about an eighth of an inch thick which is perfect for bent lamination. And it was a lot of strips. If I had a drum sander, I would have passed them all through that after to make them all exactly the same width. And because I'm just working with plywood and experimenting and having fun with it, it wasn't a big deal that I didn't. So next up was creating the mold. I created a template in Illustrator and printed it out to scale. This gave me the curve I was looking for. And in hindsight, I actually wish I had done an even more extreme bend, but it was still cool. I taped it together, cut it out, and then traced it onto the piece of MDF that I had. I used my jigsaw to cut out the mold and then a belt sander to clean up all the jigsaw cuts which usually aren't very good. And then here you can see me just testing out how those strips can actually bend to the mold. Next up I traced a line that was two inches in from the mold to give me a consistent spacing to cut holes to accept clamps. So since I didn't have a negative of the mold, this was going to be the method that I used. So I counted all of my clamps and then measured holes three inches apart and used a Forstner bit to drill the holes. And this was actually really tiring doing it by hand without a drill press. To finish the mold, I laid down packing tape on a big sheet of melamine to prevent glue from sticking to that surface. And I put some tape on the edge of the MDF as well. Now I wanted to do the bent glue up all at once. So each laminated strip was going to consist of five individual smaller strips. So what I do is put glue on four of them and then keep one separate. Then when it was time to clamp them up, I was careful not to get glue on the outside of the outside strips. That way you could prevent the actual sets of five from sticking to each other once you broke apart the mold, if that makes sense. So to do this all at once, I used a slow setting type on glue that had a 45 minute cure time, which made it a lot easier and a lot less stressful. And I think I did the entire glue up and clamping in 34 minutes. I also did a glue up of strips that weren't bent in groups of five which would later become the legs as well as a set of strips that were in groups of three that would serve as the spacers. You'll see what I mean later. After 12 hours I unclamped everything and was really excited to see how well the lamination actually came out, especially it being my first time. And there was actually no spring back at all. And it took a little TLC to get them off and apart but for the most part it was really quick and easy to dismantle. To clean things up, I used my planer. Now the goal wasn't to take off actual thickness of the strips, it was really just to remove excess glue and make sure all of the strips were the exact same height. 
Now plywood isn't great for a planer because of the alternating grain pattern, so it did leave a bit of a burn in some of the pieces. After that, I cut all of my legs to length on the miter saw, and I think each of them were just over 14 inches. Next up were the spacers for the legs. I took the strips that were three pieces thick and cut them into two lengths. One was three and a half inches for the top spacer and one was two inches for the bottom one. Now because I didn't use a drum sander to make all of these the exact same width, I needed to clean up the pieces on the disc sander so that the top and bottom spacers were all equal width, which you can see what I mean here. and I labeled them all to keep track of them. Now since I decided that the final bench was going to be 10, strip, or 10 bent strips, I needed to make 20 legs, 10 for each side. Each of the legs would have 18 spaces glued to them, so nine to a side, and then the final strip was just a leg to close out the last space gap. And you'll see what I mean when I actually glue things up. Now gluing these up was a little bit tricky, so what I ended up doing was using off cuts that were three strips thick and spacing them in between each of the bent strips and then using a quick grip clamp to clamp them together. And by doing that, I could use the slow setting type on glue again and apply the glue and stick it in between the strips. And that had just the right amount of tension with it so that when I actually put the strip in uh, with the glue on it, it would actually hold itself in place and balance. Then I used a whole bunch of clamps and calls to clamp it up and keep it 90 degrees to the bench top. And again, this probably wouldn't have been possible without that glue that had a really slow cure time. I highly recommend it. The next day was finishing. I used a circular saw to trim off the excess bench and then just worked through sanding to get to a final form, starting with a belt sander at 40 grit then orbital sanding at 80 grit, and then some light hand sanding at 120. Nothing fancy. I really hope you enjoyed my entry into the Modern Maker Podcast Rockler Plywood Challenge. I've never done something like this before and was really excited to see it come together over the course of four days. Also, this was the first project that I've ever done in my new garage shop, which means I've probably set the bar way too high for myself. But if you did enjoy the project, I would love it if you subbed to the channel. I'll see you guys around.